Hey guys, welcome back to Preamp Productions channel. My name's Graham. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to clean a fogger. So this is my fogger. It's been living in my car for far too long and it needs to be cleaned. So first, what I'm gonna do, um, this is absolutely disgusting. I don't know if you can really see that, but there's definitely stuff growing in here. So before I make a mess, I'm gonna put down some paper towel, pull this out and we'll sort this out in the bathroom because it's just disgusting. Um, what we're really gonna be looking at though is the inside of the fogger. Make sure everything's clean because it gets pretty hot in there and you don't want anything catching on fire. So there's a whole bunch of screws. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch this. All right, now that all your screws are taken out, this top should lift right off. And keep in mind that this is still attached, your, your um, hose, so maybe just put this cover, well, I don't wanna block the camera, so we're gonna go like that. Put this over here. All right, yeah, there's dead bugs and wood chips in here, so this might take a little while. Um, first, I'm gonna clear out the cobwebs with my trusty old dust, well, whatever this is, a paintbrush. Um, I'm gonna try and get most of it just clumped up in a ball, and then I can take that out later. Once I get most of the debris out, I'm going to um, wipe it down with some all-purpose cleaner. Show you that when I'm done. All right, so I've got most of the debris out now. I'm just gonna give it a wipe with some, I'm just using uh, Method All-Purpose Cleaner because they are really good at making, you know, all-purpose cleaners. All right, folks, so now this is mostly clean. Um, certainly not gonna start any fires now. Before with those wood chips in there, I wouldn't be so sure. So definitely important to clean out your foggers and hazers every now and then, make sure nothing catches on fire. Um, Cause again, this thing gets quite, quite warm. Um, these elements here draw like a thousand watts. So not, not to mess around with, definitely make sure everything's unplugged before you open this up and uh, assemble it with all the screws. Um, and most importantly, um, to prevent having to clean something out, store it properly. So this was in my garage for far too long and it just was not taken care of. So please take care of your equipment. Don't leave it in your garage under a ladder for years neglected. Um, thank you so much. And uh, here are some photos of the cleaned product. 